Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. I am super excited to continue our new series called Top 10 Secrets of Web Handling on how to improve your web machine, product, and process. In this show, we use our new eyes to diagnose another most common waste, delay, and customer complaint area in the web industries, which is Wanderall Defects. I know your time is precious, so let's get started. Of all of the areas of web handling, winding is by far the most complicated. The good news is, is that those complications are well covered in more than 10 books, 20 PhD theses, and 1,000 publications. The bad news is, is that we have little choice but to struggle with at least some of those complications because winding is a quite notable cause of waste, delay, and customer complaint. You may have heard general rules on how to improve winding. Examples include wind as loose as possible, wind with maximum taper, start the wind slowly, and many more. Unfortunately, while they can be useful response in some very narrow situations, they are, in general, incorrect, incomplete, or counterproductive. For example, if you wind looser, you will aggravate already loose defects. If you increase taper, you will make no improvement or even make matters worse for the majority of winding issues. Instead, what you must know is the specific defect case you are working on, which then leads to a much more effective option list. By specific, I mean subcase. There are about 20 kinds of wrinkles and three kinds of core crush, and about six kinds of telescopes. As such, you must know which one you have, because some are tight defects, some are loose defects, and a very rare set are taper defects. So, how do we even get started with no general rules and lots of complications? Simple. You must either read or you must go to school. If you want to know the details of the what, why, and how, we have a must-have winding book. If you just want a quick guess on what direction to turn the knobs, we have a must-have defect troubleshooting encyclopedia with more than 100 wound roll defects. Merely match the defect which is now much more visible because you have a new set of eyes to one of the defect photos in the book. That defect has an official name and, more importantly, a list of causes and cures. And, of course, we have my award-winning and trademark Web 101 class that has been taken by 5,000 students. And we also have the Roysom Library database search tool that categorizes some 4,000 articles on web handling, most everything ever written. Despite the complexities and the details, there are a few principles that can help guide you and get you started. The first is to note that most winding defects can be broken into four mutually exclusive categories. Tight, loose, roll structure or taper in converting language, and the very wide other category. The other category includes many machine design, maintenance, and operational errors, as well as product design errors. In any case, if we look at the first three categories, we see wound roll tightness is an important controllable parameter whether it is best to tighten, loosen, or increase taper from tight at the start to looser at the finish. 
Please note, however, that it is quite naive to think that you can solve your winding problems, whatever they are, by just turning knobs. Sometimes you can. However, sometimes you need to redesign the web or the winder to reduce certain defects enough to keep people happy. So, if we look at our most controllable parameter of tightness, the first question is, how tight to wind? This was known a century ago, and it is still true enough today. It is called the baby bear theory of winding. That is, to not wind too tight and not wind too loose. All we have done since is to add detail to this recommendation. So, if we look at our most controllable parameter of tightness, we must then ask what knobs on the winder make tightness and how they do so. The knobs are known as the TNTs of winding. They stand for tension, nip, torque differential, and the little s stands for speeds for products that are speed dependent. Which knob you have depends on the class of your winder. The classes are center wind, center wind with lay on roll, surface wind, and center surface wind. This is as much detail as we can go into here. The rest you will need to pick up in school or in a book. Trial and error would be an alternative to consider, provided that you do meticulous DOEs and have good performance measurements such as roll hardness or defect rates, and the results are statistically sound. Even so, your trials might be sped up by going to school first. I hope that you have enjoyed this overview of winding defects. Stay tuned for next week's show where we will dare to say that the value-added process that you enjoy may be the very root cause of the problems that you don't enjoy. If you have a topic you would like to hear about, let me know in the comment section below. If you found any of these stories to be interesting or useful, please like and share and subscribe. See you next time.